when Martin Luther King failed to desegregate Albany, Georgia, the civil rights struggle in America reached its low point. King became bankrupt almost as a leader. Plus, even financially, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference was in financial trouble, plus it was in trouble, period, with the people when they failed to uh, desegregate Albany, Georgia. Other Negro civil rights leaders of so-called national stature became fallen idols. As they became fallen idols, began to lose their prestige and influence, local Negro leaders began to stir up the masses. In Cambridge, Maryland, Gloria Richardson. In Danville, Major, uh, Danville, Virginia, and other parts of the country, local leaders began to stir up our people at the grassroots level. This was never done by these Negroes whom you recognize of national stature. They controlled you, but they never incited you or excited you. They controlled you. They contained you. They kept you on the plantation. That was Malcolm X delivering his message to the grassroots speech in November of 1963, less than three months after the March on Washington. In that same speech, he goes on to criticize the, quote, big six, the six leading civil rights organizers at the time, Martin Luther King, James Farmer, John Lewis, A. Philip Randolph, Roy Wilkins, and Whitney Young. But the white man put the big six ahead of him. Made them the march. They became the march. They took it over. And the first move they made after they took it over, they invited Walter Ruther, a white man. They invited a priest, a, uh, a rabbi, and an old white preacher. Yeah, the old white preacher. The same white element that put Kennedy in power labor, the Catholics, the Jews, and liberal Protestants. Same clique that put Kennedy in power joined the March on Washington. It's just like when you've got some coffee that's too black, which means it's too strong. What you do? You integrate it with cream. <laughs> You make it weak. If you pour uh, too much cream in, you won't even know you ever had coffee. It used to be hot, it becomes cool. It used to be strong, it becomes weak. It used to wake you up, now it'll put you to sleep. <laughs> was Malcolm X about three months after the march on Washington, uh, speaking in Detroit. Uh, 